Once a foreigner steps a foot on this land, he's more privileged and has more freedoms than a Palestinian would have his entire life. We invite internationals to help out with that fact, to help out in providing Palestinians with a form of protective presence. It's as simple as this. If a Palestinian is on his own or with his family on their field that are near to Jewish-Israeli settlements, near to Israeli bypass roads, near to Israeli uh, military camps, that Palestinian family will be harassed. There has been a lot of Palestinians who were shot and killed on their fields. Another thing of importance is like whether you believe it or not, a foreigner has access to every corner of this place. Sometimes as a foreigner you have access to a family's land that the family itself is denied access or freedom access of it. So by inviting internationals we make sure that they provide a form of international presence or protective presence on these families land. Israeli soldiers, Israeli settlers, actors of the state of Israel will behave differently if you were on that field as a foreigner. <laughs> You know, in olive harvest, some people have, uh, they are not allowed to collect their, the olives only uh, with a permission. Others refuse to take a permission. Why? Because they say, they, it's, uh, it's my land, it's my land, it's, not, it's, it's my land. How I get a permission from the Israel to, to go to get inside my land? It is not a kind of a uh, uh, struggle. So Israel come, soldiers come to their land, where is the permission? They know they are not without the permission. They sell, they, of course, they will be, it will be clashes. They would try to pick them out of their land, but they refuse. And they come another time, three times, four times. The national people support, uh, supporting and solidarity with these uh, families is very important. طبعا احنا قاعدين منلقط في الزيتون انتبهوا الاجانب في حد عماله بيراجمنا بالحجار بينزل علينا بالحجار طبعا الاجانب بطلوا يلاقطوا في الزيتون ومسكوا كاميراتهم وبلشوا بدهم يصوروا هلا هم لما شافوا في تصوير وفي كاميرات ابعدوا وقفوا الهاي بس انا ما اهتميت ومع ذلك ضلين احنا نشتغل وبكل ثقة وبكل عزم انه احنا هذا زتون من اللقطه بالعكس وانا شغلت لهم كمان اغاني اسباني والحمد لله وقعدنا نلقط كل شيء ولا اهتمينا من كل الامور هذه كلها وخلصنا الهاي بس يعني طبعا في نوع من المخاطرة الشديدة في عنا نوع من المخاطرة الشديدة طبعا مع المستهدفين So eventually people can no longer deny that the state of Israel is an oppressive uh, regime. It's true that the state of Israel is a form of democracy, but it's democracy for Jew Jewish Israelis only, right? And maybe some Palestinians would have access to that democracy, like Palestinians who are residents of the state of Israel, who are already a minority, who are already a vulnerable minority, right? If they are, they are allowed to vote, but they vote for a system that does not represent them in, in, in any way. Exactly like inviting a black person in Mississippi to go vote for a white supremacist regime. Yeah, you are allowed to vote, so our racism, is really, our racism against you is legitimate because you are allowed to vote. But the rest of the Palestinians that fall under the control of the state of Israel, they have no access to that so-called democracy. For example, they started in 1948 by removing 530 Palestinian villages and towns, destroying their trees, their olive trees, their fig trees, their almond trees, 
And then they brought a European pine tree and they planted European pine trees where those original trees and, and farming communities were. And uh, these European pine trees are not local here. And they destroy the environment. They uh, shed leaves that make the soil acidic, so nothing grows in there. So they destroyed our environment, and they did other projects that destroyed the environment. For example, when they drained the wetlands, the whole wetlands in the north, and they replaced it with farmland to grow wheat and barley and whatever. And they, uh, that destroyed 219 species disappeared because of this. And then, of course, they diverted the water of the Jordan Valley from Lake Tiberias to the areas of the east, the western parts, including the Naqab, western Naqab area, Negev area. And this was devastating to the Jordan Valley. It dried up the Jordan Valley. Uh, all the agriculture and the wildlife that used to exist in the Jordan Valley disappeared. And the Dead Sea started shrinking. And now, of course, Israel is going to build a canal from the Red Sea to the Dead Sea to replace the water of the Dead Sea, which is very devastating to the environment. It will destroy the, the Wadi Araba area. And then, of course, the building of all these settlements. Now there are 750,000 Israeli Jewish settlers in the West Bank. There's actually more Israeli Jews living in the West Bank per square kilometer than there are inside the Green Line, inside what they call Israel proper. And instead, you know, the colonizers always want to divert attention. Uh, it works to some extent. It works to some other extent. It doesn't work. There is a challenge. There is a resistance. So we set our mind that, you know, inspired by the South African and other experience in the world, like you know, the world must know that this is a colonial apartheid regime. And that's where we built our strategy to call for BDS. It's not just talking about the wall is illegal. Also, the, the, set, the settlements talk about Jerusalem, talk about the total, the whole system of the occupation. So we exclude the political bases because we know that the, politica, the politics will fragment the people, will not have consensus, and this will fragment the solidarity as well. So that's what we get, we get at the end, the conclusion that BDS is a human rights movement and should be based on the human rights. Ending the occupation in 67, this is represents 38 percent of the Palestinian population, which is legitimate, supported by international law and United Nations resolutions. Second, ending the, raci the racism and racial discrimination against the Palestinians in 48. They are 12 percent of the Palestinian, total Palestinian population. So this is 50 percent of the Palestinian people inside historical Palestine. And the third one is the right of return for the Palestinian who have been expelled from their homeland. And this is another 50% of the Palestinian population that scattered around the world in the diaspora. In a way, nobody can, first of all, provide them with the protection. Nobody can say that you are terrorists or criminals or anti-Semites. Because what you're calling for is implementing the international law. In our work, uh, we, uh, we try to focus more on uh, people that uh, live in countries where there is uh, economic ties with the State of Israel, political connections and diplomatic connections with the State of Israel, or military connections with the State of Israel. Because we think the public of these countries are fooled into believing that they are connected to a normal state. 
So what we do is that we try to invite people, simply like invite people from these countries to come over and see a reality on the ground the way it is. And then once they go back, they go back with a fundamental understanding of uh, what's happening here. We just waiting the bear mission for going that. This is really ridiculous. سيأتي يوم ندعيكم على فلسطين وهي محررة نحتفل بتحرير فلسطين. المستوطنين بدهم يهجروا أهل البلد. إحنا هون بنحافظ على الأرض، بنحافظ على الزيتون. طبعاً في طق عندي لوحة هذه تقطع الشجر. كيف كيف إنه نزلوا المستوطنين عنا في الدار وقطعوا لي كل شجر الزيتون، الشجر العنب المثمر قطعوا لي إياه بشكل كامل. بس إيش؟ عاود الحمد لله أن أطلق من مكان من مكان ثاني. الله ما بده يترك. Free your mind and your ass will follow. First we have to free our minds. We have to be free in our own hearts and minds. If Israel gave up its Zionism and this ideology, the whole conflict would be solved very easily. Uh, if I have the chance to become the president of the two governments one day, I will be next the two people together. And if the people Leave. Give your kids, your children, amazing future. We are start and we have really good products and we don't want to stop. We have to walk in it, to live in it and not to be afraid. Of course, we believe that this land is ours and, and we want to get it back and uh, get the justice. We continue our struggle, uh, even it's me alone. I have to continue because we have to, to, to reach our mission. Tell me about the house and see the house. Let's go to the house. Oh, my free moment. So, uh, my. Can I go away in my free moment? <laughs>